little Santa figurine. It's actually a little vintage planter. And I sold it on Facebook Marketplace and I'm getting ready to ship it. So I thought I would take a minute and show you how I'm going to package this to protect it during shipping. I have a box here. It's an eight by six by six. And the rating on the bottom, glasses please. The rating on the bottom is 32 ECT, which is 32 pounds of edge crush test, which means it's a nice sturdy box for shipping. I just have to pack it really well on the inside to keep it from moving around and make sure it arrives okay. So I'm gonna change the camera angle and show you how I'm going to pack this. The first thing that I want to do is fill the opening here. I wanna make sure that it's packed in with some tissue paper. And so I've cut some pieces here and I'm going to just push it in here gently, but all the way to the back. I think it can actually handle a little more. So I'm going to put a little more in and cut the excess off. I'm going to reuse this piece, taking it by a corner and just running my hand down through it. And I'm going to wrap this around his head, his face. And I need to get some tape. So as I wrap this gently around his face, Santa's little face, I'm just using some regular tape, taping that in place. I still want to protect the top. So I'm going to take another piece of tissue paper and wrap it around again. And continue wrapping it around the entire figurine. Some tape. And I think I'm going to grab one more piece of tissue paper. Again, I'm going to take this from the corner and just work my way down. I'm just going to start near the bottom and wrap this around and tape it in place. So I have it fairly well wrapped. In the last tissue paper piece, I'm going to just wrap it around, roll it around. So I took the last piece of tissue paper and just wrapped it all the way around. So I have a pretty decent sized box here and it might look like it's too big, but I wanna make sure it's protected on all sides. But before I start packing it, I have a large piece of bubble wrap and I have some small pieces of bubble wrap. I'm going to wrap the small piece around the Santa first holding this in. I'm just recycling some bubble wrap so it's not very pretty but it works. And I'm not liking how that's sticking so I'm going to use my packing tape. It's just a um, shipping tape. And then I'm going to put this inside the large piece of bubble wrap. I'm almost out of large bubble wrap, so I'm trying to make do with a combination. Okay, that's pretty good here. Let's check the fit. Lays down in here pretty good. But I have to fill in the rest of the box. To do that, I have some packing paper. This is just blank packing paper. Paper. You can use newspaper or whatever you'd like. Put this on top. I need to fill in the sides and the top. I estimated this to be under one pound for shipping, so I'm going to just do a little check here. It's at 11.9 ounces, so I'm still good. So I'm going to keep adding some more paper. Putting some on each side, each end. And 
they're going to tuck it around. Keep make sure it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to top it with some more bubble wrap and just tuck that into the sides. Okay, I just need to add, and let me check the weight. I'm at 12.7 ounces. I know you really can't see that. I use this little sheet of paper to accommodate for the shipping label and the tape. I want to also add a little packing list or note. So that's how I ship a small figurine. Lots of bubble wrap, lots of tissue paper, lots of paper, and a really good sturdy box. So I'm gonna finish that up and get that in the mail.